Welcome to section 5.5, Linear Systems as Matrix Equations. So we're going to look at linear systems again, but this time we're going to view them as matrix equations. So let's see what we mean by that. So consider the following matrix equation. You notice the matrix uh, we've put down is a 2 by 3. X instead is a 3 by 1, so X is the matrix of unknowns. And therefore, B has to be a 2 by 1, right? Because the middle numbers are the same, and the outside numbers, 2 by 1, give us the size of the resulting matrix. So we've learned how to solve uh, matrix equations, and one of the ways that we've learned to solve is to multiply both sides by the inverse when it exists. But you notice that in this case, A is not a square matrix. And so there is no A inverse that would allow us to cancel out A on either side, right? So we cannot, I'll write it here, we cannot solve using uh, A, or rather X equals A inverse times B. And that's simply because well, because A inverse does not exist, does not exist. So instead, uh, if you look at the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the matrix A times the matrix X. So 2 by 3 times a 3 by 1. So you notice that it's simply going to be first row times first column, which is 2X minus Y plus Z. So I wrote that right here. And that has to equal to 5 on the other side. And the same way, we have the second row, first column, but that, of course, is x plus 7y plus z, uh, rather, rather minus 5z, and that's what we wrote here, and that has to be equal to 2. So when you look at that, I think it's easy to see that the only way that the matrix on the left can equal the matrix on the right is if the first entry, 2x minus y plus z, on the left is equal to 5, and the first entry, or the second entry, rather, on the left, position 2, 1, that entire entry has to equal to 2, right? The only way two matrices of the same size can be equal is if their respective entries are equal. And this, of course, is a linear system. So we started out with a matrix equation, matrix equation, and we rewrote it as a linear system. And I think it's not very hard to convince ourselves that the same set of values that satisfy the linear system will also satisfy the original matrix equation and vice versa, right? We went from one to the other, and so it's pretty uh, sure that the values that satisfy the equations also satisfy, uh, the equations of the system also satisfy the matrix equation. Also notice that we went from the matrix equation to the linear system, but of course, if I had started from the linear system, asked you to write a matrix equation, you could have done exactly the same thing, but in reverse, right? You could have written the matrix AX first, equals B, and then split AX into the product of A times X. So the moral of the story, or the takeaway, as we wrote here, is that any matrix equation can be expressed as a linear system, and any linear system can be written as a matrix equation. So we're actually interested in the latter. Uh, in other words, we're interested in viewing a linear system as a matrix equation. And so here we have the notation, the general notation. So you're familiar with this notation because we've used it for linear systems a few classes ago. So the first is simply a, a generic linear system. You notice it has m equations and n variables and unknowns. So as a matrix equation, we're going to write it like this, ax equals b, where a is an m by n. It's the coefficient matrix. Remember, we introduced this way back when we started linear systems. So it's the matrix where we don't include the column of constants, but just the coefficients of the variables. And you notice it's m by n because m equations and n variables. The matrix x is an n by 1 because it's the matrix of unknowns. And we have n unknowns, or n variables, so it's n by 1. And finally, the matrix B is an m by 1, m as in Mary, because that's how many equations we have. So that's the matrix of constants. And so with this notation, we're not going to be able to refer to linear systems as the system Ax equals B. So technically, that's a matrix equation, but now I think uh, we will, we're all going to know what we mean when we say the system Ax equals B, and if it's a homogeneous system, then we'll say the system AX equals zero, where, careful, this is a zero matrix, right? It's not the number zero, but a zero matrix, and it's a zero matrix that is M by one, M being the number of equations.